Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from the Laris Studios. You're welcome to another episode of the Android Programming. This is the second part of the Android Twitter integration using the Twitter 4G. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we are able to capture the consumer key and the consumer secret API key to do that to keep it safe. You know, we are going to be using it in the course of the building of the application now. I'll be added straight to the Android Studios for us to get to see how the development has been fully carried out. First of all, let me collapse all this. Okay. Now we're going to my build gradle the module aspect the build gradle okay the dependencies that is a dependence that must be compiled with this application it says the compile files the libs the twitter 4j core it's a jar file which has a lot of twitter libraries and we need this to course of classes in that part that must be added into this let's look at the strings the strings xml keeps the twitter consumer key and the twitter consumer secret key which will input from our text editor into the application i saved mine on the text editor the consumer key copy paste it in there correctly the consumer secret the API secret copy it paste it in there all right okay the activity main which is the main activity of the application this is in the layout the activity main let's just take a brush on how the framework is being built it sits on a relative layout with a support v7 widget to far as the child quite important that holds the button involved in this application the Twitter logout button and also another relative layout right under it holding a text view of the username TV all those ID are very important with a button it's going to be a button involved there which has the tweet button which tweets the text or the the uh, the input strings as they are edit text that holds on to the text being imputed we have the login layout is a relative layout also with a button login that's all involved in the activity main okay um let's look at the authenticate web view xml which is also created in the layout folder that's for the web view of the twitter it's quite important it's been declared and the xml the layout is quite safe in the layout folder okay let's look at the logic of the application this is the main activity of the application and the package dlrstudios.com.android twitter okay click on the main activity let me expand the import Okay. Now you can see a chunk of Twitter 
4J imports, which actually comes from the library, the dependencies we included in our build.gradle. Okay. The main activity, sorry for that, extends the action bar, which I think is being deprecated in the Android Studios. It implements the view, the on click list now, which actually undoes the click. Now, a lot of fields were declared the ref name, ref user, the authenticating token, and the authenticating secret, the Twitter login edit text the button the twitter button the relative layout which are sitting right in the activity main layout we saw a lot of the id there now the private string which holds the consumer key the consumer secret these are strings of um, the twitter authentication we have an create because they're on the super class and set the content due to the activity main layout which is the first layout so the twitter button the login button and the logout button of the tweet due to twitter the on click listener has been set on it so it listens to click the init view method which is initialized over here Holds on the edit text, the button that these are variable declared to hold on the different calls to the ID specified from the activity main XML on each click. Okay, the on click view method has a view with the V getting the ID of each view and bringing out a switch statement to check for the particular view in request in the case the id the tweet button to do this if is the case if not come over to the case the twitter login button you initiate you do that there's an if else statement in between this, this actually um, set the visibility of the layout. And if not, there's a login to Twitter method being called, which we'll talk about it while on there. Okay. Um, there's a Twitter logout button, which is the last uh, statement in the case. So it logs out from Twitter if that's the case so this is actually a lot of logic in between that the logout from twitter which was declared earlier let's see what that does okay it gets the shared references the authentication token the secret and the twitter login and also also the username which removes them and commits it it removes that it locks you out and it commits so okay setting the visibility to gone now the close progress method is being called if not null and the post progress is showing or you, you should dismiss the progress and set it to null like abandoning it after the action the consumer key and the consumer secret key is being reviewed here again. For now, I would like to equate it with mine to be so sure. Fine of it. So this italics. Now the text utilities. It's been set to empty. This is handling the consumer key, setting the visibility if it's authenticated. Else, 
the login layout call the intent you know, of the URI you equate it this is done in, in the Twitter engine you equate it and get the authority access token so if successful it logs out success the exception is if not successful so there should be a message fail to log in so if it's authenticated as, as the method is authenticated this method is passed in as the parameter you return the shared reference you get a boolean the treaty login and it should it should be in force as a safe twitter information method also which takes the access token the user id the access token you get the user id as a try and catch statement that put the strings these are the token twitter login and the username to commit it it's trying to save the, the twitter the session of the twitter information at the particular time of login the login to Twitter, if it's not if it's if it's not logged in, this should be done. The Twitter factory, the configuration, the consumer key, and the try and catch statement also attached to that too. To start the web authentication method, or you print to start trace FA. Start to web authentication method now calls the intent of the main activity. This is where the three tier authentication activity class is being called to render the web view of the Twitter page. The on activity results method. The try and catch also that sets the layout of the web to visible so as a welcome message or the username. This is the Twitter engine, and it shows the alert box. Set the title and set the message. So there is an async tax been done and also you're doing background method what are the calls make at the background the background threats we have the access token trying to authenticate the token and also the access token secrets these are done asynchronously to keep each sessions moving so a length if it's less than one day, thirty-nine. The sequence update. So the on post request close the progress uh, scrolling effect. I think that's so enormous, and we've actually gone through a lot. Let's quickly look at the Twitter authentication activity. Okay, that extends the activity. It calls on the static final extra URL, the authentication activity class, the web view, which is in particular of what this class is going to carry out. It calls on the authenticate web view XML, initialize the web view, um, it sets the web view client. And it loads the particular URL. So there is an unstop method on pause. The cancel progress dialog method. Your resume, if you've gone through the, uh, the life cycle of the Android programming, you know there's on pause, on start, on resume. On page started, that's the parameter of the web view, the string, and the bitman that's a private 
the loading aspect until it's rendered to the page. Dialog shows the load resources method and also the shoe override URL loading. These are quite important also. You can get the source code from a GitHub account which is right shown on your screen. So with these full details, I would like to run this application and let's see the display in my journey motion emulator. Quite well, then motion to see height. Let's to see that's from the application. Wow, all right, it's an application popping up. Loading display, trying to fetch some data. It's an emulator. Okay. Telling me to impute my username a password. Okay, I got my username. Password. Password sign in. You see, do you want the browser to remember this password? Okay, remember. Trying to log in. You can grab the FX constraints. Can you see this? So, this page can actually be the redirected page of your application if you want to continue to extend it. But the access has been granted and I can sign out. You can see the Delara Studios logo, Twitter. So, I can just Trick this page to represent my home page. That's just how to continue to build your application. So you can use it in the course of your application. You can develop on it. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.